Hello, this is Krieger Margin. I am starting off, thankfully, the final, final review. Could we, could we pause and re no. revamp? What? Revamp what? From, from the top. And scene. I was literally in the middle of an intro. Sorry, I was rubbing my face and I got hair on my nose and I wanted to reset. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Are here for the final, final, final Friday the Thirteenth review this ranking. Is, this is just the ranking. Ranking, the ranking this series in its entirety. We are joined by Jokester and, and your host Mike Check ninety five. I'm just running my list right now. <laughs> Mike is getting his thing prepared, so I am going to buy some time. While Mike's getting his, I'm going to go and do mine. So Mike's going to have a full ranking. Yes. I since I did not watch the entire series, I'm going to give my Top three, bottom three. Starting off with the very worst Jason movie of all time is Freddy vs. Jason. That one was awful. Um, followed by Jason Goes to Manhattan, which was just as bad. And following by the third least worst is Jason X. Those were my absolute worst. I hated every, every single thing about those, and I wished I was not alive the entire time I watched But at the same three. time, you love Jason X. No, I really didn't. <laughs> you love it for the stupidity, but um, no. at the same time, it's like... It yeah. was dumb. <laughs> it was dumb and bad. The be My favorite part was before he went to space in that movie, because he looked kind of cool there, and that was it. You don't like Uber um, Space Odyssey was dumb. My top three, which I know Mike's going to disagree with at least one of these. Number three is Jason Goes to Hell. <laughs> That is one of the best Jason films because it was really well done overall. I really enjoyed it. The only thing I really didn't like was the random worm. I think the second best of all time is the one we just watched recently, the 2009 remake of Friday the 13th. Um, I feel like that one is almost perfect. And the original one of part four is my favorite of all time because that's the first one I ever watched. That's the one I grew up watching. I feel like that encapsulates the story of Jason and Friday the 13th the best out of every single one um all the others were good but i feel like overall this was the best i have only seen one seven eight nine crossover and remake so i'm going to rank those uh first of all the worst of all um i really did not like freddy versus jason it i think is going to be on the bottom if i ever do watch two through six next would have to be jason x which started out okay and good, but then it went straight no logic, which totally was the opposite of the whole plotline of the story, and Jason being metal, which didn't make any sense. Number eight, other than the big massive plot hole, Jason does run around and Jason follows Jason behavior. These are three that I feel like would be in my top three overall, in general, until I've seen the other ones third place i would put the original i really like the original it was spooky it was kooky it came straight out of left field which is what a good i feel like horror slasher should uh the twist was confusing all the way to the end um and it made some logical sense it did there was no supernatural there was no kooky stuff even at the end they say oh the person that jumped out and grabbed the girl that's just psychosis or her having trauma in second place I really liked um, Jason Goes to Hell. I like that. that is my number two. I feel like that would be number two, and my number three would change after watching the other ones. And then my number one is the remake. The remake makes sense. Jason is fast. Jason follows Jason logic. They, Like they said, they run through the different characters of Jason. Jason does Jason stuff. He kills horny teenage kids in the dark in crazy ways. And he hides the bodies in crazy ways. And he gets away with it. And I feel like that's a winner. Okay, so since my two cohorts have left the, uh, the uh, I guess, the camera, I guess I'll take center stage. Well, 
I guess if it comes down to this, I am the one that started this bullshit. I'm the one that's going to fucking end this. <laughs> so I'm the only one in the in the group that got to watch watch and review this entire series from start to finish. I started this project two years ago. I got very lazy from time to time, and now I finally, finally have got this done. And this is the last time you ever hear me talk about Jason or any Friday the Thirteenth films, probably for a long while. So, from my ranking from worst to best, uh, I know that my cohorts would disagree with me very much, but I still believe that Jason Goes to Hell is the absolute worst Jason film of out of all of them, strictly because I feel like it does not follow the same usual critique and same usual pattern as the other films, and it's just completely out of left field. I do understand that they're trying new ideas and everything, but it's... From a Friday the 13th fan standpoint, it's not really what you were coming to see. A sci-fi, uh, black, dirty worm thing going from throat to throat to throat to vagina to body swapping. Like, the body swapping concept makes sense, but at the same time, you're walking into this and you're thinking, what the hell did I just watch? At number 11, I'm going to put Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, because... <laughs> This is the most boring one out of all of the Jason films. I would say that. I mean, it's Jason Takes Manhattan. There's nothing really good you can say about it, honestly. <laughs> Except for the boombox kick, I guess, what Jokester would say. At number 10, I would put Friday the 13th Part 5. It's a little bit better than Part 8, but because of the story they were trying to go for. But... I, there was too many plot holes and there was too many hooks and crannies that didn't really go anywhere with all that stuff. So, Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, it's at number 10. Yeah, it's a little bit better than Part 8 and Part 9, but it's still not meh. Um, shockingly, at uh, number 9 uh, would be the crossover Freddy vs. Jason. Everyone knows that I used to, I loved the crossover for what it is. But as of recent, I had a really difficult time watching it on the last review we did. And granted, I still say give them credit where it's due for them trying to get a script out. But I still think they could have done so much better. And there was just too many cooks in the kitchen, too many politics going on backstage. And that was pretty much what brought the downfall of this film in my eyes. Coming after that, I would put uh, Jason X. On a more of a comedic standpoint, this movie is bad, but I can sit there and enjoy this film more than the last four that I have ranked. It's bad, it's stupid fun, they even said it in the documentary, they knew it was bad, but they're having fun with it. I would put Jason next, next on the list. After that, I would honestly put Friday the 13th Part 3. Part 3 is the introduction of the hockey mask for Jason and Friday the 13th. My only problem with it is... It's kind of a rehash of part two and the 3D aspect kind of hurts the movie in my eyes because you're just sitting there and you're watching the movie and all of a sudden, oh, oh, I can't do it. Here. Try to enjoy a movie while that's happening. Here's where it gets interesting. Uh, this is the only series where you can rank any film wherever you want and no one would get offended, honestly. I would put Friday the 13th part one after that. I like the original story of it. It's a great origin story. But at the same time, I think it's just because it's a little dated. And it's that's not its fault. It That's just, that is what it is. It's, it's just circumstances. It's not bad. But it's not one of my favorites. But I still enjoy it. So I would put it right there. Now we're getting into my top five. And after that, I would put Friday the 13th part two two because it had a great amount of kills it was the first introduction of jason Voorhees, and i put it above part three and part one because one there's no 3d aspect in it and two i just liked it a little bit better than the original one and that's kind of just how i see it but it is what it is shockingly after that at number four I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but I'm going to put Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, mainly because it is one of those what-could-have-been scenarios, because that film has the best-looking Jason, it has one of the most interesting storylines, teasing the idea of a crossover before the crossover actually happened. It's actually very interesting, and if 
there wasn't so many backstage politic, po- politics on this one, it would have been a very good film. It, What could have been? It's still good. It's still watchable. It has the best looking Jason, but there's just too much cut out in the movie. But I still like it. It's a fun movie to watch. Coming in at number three, a shocker here, because I usually put this one in my top two or number one, is Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Now, in these top three films, there's really no hate for any of them. It kind of just changes upon the day and whatnot. But looking at a standpoint for a critic review in my head, I'd have to put Part 6 in the number three spot because I feel like comparing it to my other two films that I enjoy quite a bit, there's a bit too much comedy in it but I still like it for what it is and it's a better balance of comedy and horror than Jason X obviously number two will be I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this one too uh number two is gonna be Friday the 13th part four the final chapter because out of the entire original series this is honestly the best perfectly balanced one I would say it Honestly, if we didn't get all these other sequels, this should have been the finale. This should have been the end game, the be all end all. Like, yeah, the other films are fun to watch. Sometimes, not all of them, but they dragged it on for too long. I feel like I knew it was a cash grab to try to beat out like Freddy and Michael and whatnot. And I guess Chucky, if you want to throw him in there, this should have been the finale. The finale of the original series. It was a good cap off. It was a good slasher it had a good story it was just good all around now again i'm gonna get a lot of flack with this one as well i'm gonna put the remake of friday the 13th as number one (laughs) number one reason why is if we don't talk about the crossover this is the very first friday the 13th film i've ever saw so i'm gonna gravitate towards it more as the years go on um the Jason in this film is probably the scariest. This Jason in this film is probably the smartest. And it's just... I feel like it's honestly a good blend. But besides what Krieger says, it's a good blend of the first three, maybe four films. But I enjoy it a lot. I have fun watching it every time I watch it. I love the Jason in this film. The one little sex scene there in the middle of the movie kind of just goes... What the fuck? And the beginning... And the sack head part could have been balanced out a little bit better. But for what they gave us, I keep asking everyone and everyone else, where the hell is the sequel? I've been waiting since 2009. Um, please bring it to me. But anyways, we're not going to get into the court order. Um, this is Mike Check 95 ending the entire series, I guess.